Alright, so before the video starts, I just wanted to say that Level Up Visions made this really cool Wraith Kunai for me. You guys should also check out what they do, and if you want something like this, then you can message them on Instagram. Their link will be in the description below. Before we get started with the full video, the full movement guide, that type of thing, uh, I just want to make it clear that this video isn't going to be a full, like, every single movement technique in the game, and like, I'm going to explain how to do all of them. I just chose the ones that... I think got asked the most and I feel like I, you know, kind of do them and like I'm able to explain them a bit, you know, since I get asked it a good amount. So uh, yeah, if you guys do though want to learn other movement techniques, you could just try to search them, search them up on YouTube and you'll most likely find them. Uh, ones like Lyrics, Smoky Snipers, Asus, I recommend those ones as well to be honest, because those also go in depth about other things that I don't explain in this video. So uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy the video and I'll see you next time. See ya. Okay, so to start with zips, um, my interact button is E and I have jump to scroll wheel down. So pretty much you literally just interact and scroll. Like that. And that's how you do a super jump. Is it possible to jump and then super jump? No. You, ha you have to be on the floor to actually do a super jump. To get, to get really high, you have to do a super jump. So do the uh, interact and jump. And then you grab onto the, onto the zip again and then jump off. Like that. You can't slide into it, you can't slide into it. As long as you're on the ground. Yeah, to go down a zip, you just press your interact button and the crouch. So for me, my crouch is C, my interact's E. So to go down instead of going up like this, you just you just crouch. That's it. Tab strafe? Okay. We'll do tab strafing. So jump is already binded to scroll wheel down, and move forward is binded to scroll wheel up for tab strafing. So for me, I scroll up on my mouse to, to uh, move forward for tab strafing. So for tab shifting, since it's, it's scroll wheel up, I hold whichever way I want to go. So if I want to tab shift to the left, I hold A. You let go of W and then you hold A. You don't want to hold W at all when tab shifting. Because when you hold W, that means you're already putting a, a forward input and your scroll wheel won't work. So then while, while you're turning, you just scroll wheel up as you're turning. You literally just do this while you're turning and holding A. You hold A and scroll wheel at the same time. You know how to turn to that direction as well. To do 180 tab chase, it's, just, it's the same thing, except you have to do like a full turn, a full like 180 while scrolling up. Do you need to slide to tab strafe? No. As long as you, you could do it while B hopping. As long as you like do it right after your jump. Was taken cheered. Cause normally doing Next that without day. tab shape, this is what Your it's looking like. Notification to make sure to use so you could be half a tab to tab shape. Alright, next is wall bouncing, and then we will get into wall, uh, 180 wall bouncing right after. So yeah, pretty much with wall bouncing, you want to slide jump into the wall, and after the slide jump, you want to let go of all your directional keys, so your WASD keys. So you're going to slide jump into the wall, and as you hit it, you're going to want to jump off. So it's going to look like this. You hit it, and then you jump off. Slide jump, hit the wall, jump off. So yeah, that's the wall bounce. And for me, if I'm running up against the wall, I slide jump, and I tap strafe into the wall, and then jump off again. Okay, I do get asked a good amount how to, how to wall bounce over a wall. But for me, what I do is I do a normal slide jump wall bounce but after the wall bounce i tap shape so that i'm able to get over the wall so you do a normal wall bounce plus a tap shape and that's it all right and for wall bouncing on short walls uh, like this one for example you have to do a normal wall bounce but this time you're gonna hold w and a or w and d and the reason why you hold w is so you get closer to the wall and you need to use A, you need to hold A or D to be able to put a side input so you don't get something like this happening. Where it just kind of latch onto the wall and jump off. Because we don't want that, we want like an actual wall bounce. 
So yeah, to do that, you hold W and A or W and D. And you run up, hold those two, and you can do the wall bounce. So yeah. And to do the 180 wall bounce, you pretty much just do a slide jump into a 180 tap strafe and then wall bounce. So it's gonna look like this. Alright, so now on to super gliding. This one is the most requested that I've uh, seen a lot recently. So, uh, yeah, the, the basics of super gliding, or the inputs for it at least, is for me, I click spacebar and C at the same time. C is my hold crouch bind, and spacebar is obviously jump. So pretty much I, place, I press both of them at the same time whenever I super glide. So yeah, it's gonna look like this. Then, uh, like, there you can't up all over my recommended. And to super glide, the timing for it, I don't really know the exact timing, but I just know you have to do it after you climb a wall. So that, that I just kind of have that known, is that you have to do it after you climb a wall. And explained it really well. He said the timing for it is between like 1 to 3 Apex ticks, and Apex runs on a 60 tick server pretty much. So uh, yeah. And the timing for it is very small, but just know that you have to do it right after you climb a wall. With super gliding, you could also implement things like tap shipping into it. So, so if you were to like super glide, you could do shit like that, or I don't know. You could really do anything after a super glide. So you could do it sideways as well. You can do it diagonally. Console players, I'm pretty sure, are able to do it backwards, but PC players can't. One thing that you cannot do though, is you cannot do a super glide into a wall bounce. Because when you super glide, you're stuck in a crouching position even if you let go of the crouch key. So even when you super glide, you're still crouching. You will not be able to wall bounce after a super glide. Also, sorry if this wasn't the movement guide you guys are expecting. I just didn't want to ha have to repeat everything that has already been said in like previous movement guides that have been made. I just wanted to kind of go over what I've been asked and what I think kind of needs um, like further explanation. Kind of, I've been asked like a lot about those things. So, yeah, that's why I didn't explain every single thing. Every single movement technique in the video is because I didn't want to have to repeat everything that has already been said. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did learn something from it, don't forget to like, and uh, comment what you like about it, what you don't like about it. And uh, yeah, subscribe if you like the content, and yeah, see you guys next time. See ya.